Welcome. This week, we're going to continue our conversation about assertive communication. Last time, we talked about how developing communication skills can be challenging for survivors of child sexual abuse. We also discussed how healthy communication will help you on your healing journey as you learn to express your needs and develop fulfilling relationships. In this video, we will discuss common types of communication. As we talk about each type, you may identify some patterns in the way you communicate or how others communicate with you. It's important to note that not everyone communicates the same way all the time. For example, some people are very passive communicators until they hit their limit, and then they can explode. Others may easily use assertive communication at work, but struggle with it at home. With that in mind, let's discuss four main types of communication. Passive, aggressive, passive-aggressive, and assertive. In passive communication, the goal is often to avoid conflict and please others. You may think that others' needs are more important and others' contributions are more valuable. You may fear being rejected or hurting others' feelings. Maybe in the past, you experienced negative repercussions when you voiced your thoughts and feelings and decided it would just be easier if you stayed quiet to avoid conflict. This thinking can result in holding your own feelings in, apologizing for expressing yourself, or even staying silent altogether. Let's pretend that you've been invited to a friend's party, but you have a conflict that night. Here's an example of what passive communication might look like. I'm so sorry. I will be there, but I may be a little late because it's my mom's birthday that night, but I'll for sure be there. I'm really sorry I might be late. I hope that's okay. Aggressive communication. If someone is communicating in an aggressive manner, the goal might be to gain control of the conversation and make sure they're heard at any cost. These patterns of thinking might lead to dismissing or ignoring others' needs. Conversations may escalate to threats or losing control. Aggressive expression can include angry or accusatory tones in the moment, but lead to guilt and remorse afterward. Aggressive communication can look like this. Oh, that really stinks that your party is on that night. I have other stuff that I can't just change around. Why wouldn't you check with me before you schedule the party? Can you move it to another night? This is so annoying. In passive-aggressive communication, the goal is often to get your own way without taking responsibility. You may feel resentment about the demands others put on you, but also fear confrontation or rejection. These feelings can lead to a negative attitude, procrastination, or denying personal responsibility. You might find yourself looking for alternative ways to get what you want, instead of confronting the issue at hand with honesty and acceptance. Passive-aggressive communication can look like this. I'm so sorry I didn't get back to you. Are you sure you sent me the invite? I really want to be there, but it would have been better for me if you had scheduled it for a different night. I hate missing your parties because they're so good. Finally, if you're an assertive communicator, your goal is self-respect and respect for others. You work to set and maintain healthy boundaries, be firm when needed, deliver messages clearly, and act with respect, fairness, and empathy. In other words, assertive communication is the ability to honestly express your opinions, attitudes, and rights in a way that conveys your needs or wants without neglecting the rights of others. Sounds great, right? But what does it look like in everyday communication? Let's begin by taking a closer look at some elements of assertive communication and its benefits. Honesty. Honesty means being able to truthfully express your opinions, thoughts, needs, wants, and beliefs. When you're honest with others, even if you disagree with them, others will know they can trust you. Clarity. Clarity means you deliver messages in a way that others are able to understand. Respect. Respect involves demonstrating respect for yourself, your needs, and your desires, while also respecting the needs and desires of others. Through respect, you extend empathy towards yourself and the people in your life. Openness. Openness means using your voice and actions to express yourself without holding things in. You don't hesitate to share what you're thinking and feeling. 
Being open with others also includes a willingness to hear what they may want to share with you and encouraging dialogue. Being firm. Being firm means you use your voice and actions to advocate for yourself and have more control over your life. You're able to say no, actually mean no, and follow through with what you say. Being firm empowers you to set and maintain consistent boundaries. It doesn't mean you're abrasive or rude in the way you communicate, but it does signal to others that you will confidently stand up for yourself. Here's an example of what assertive communication could look like in your everyday life. I really love the amazing parties you organize. You're so creative and inclusive. I wish I could participate this Friday night, but I have other commitments. I'll look forward to your next party. Assertiveness is a skill that doesn't just happen overnight. It's something that you can practice, improve upon, and learn to implement as you communicate. Taking control of how you express yourself and engage in communication will nurture and strengthen relationships that are valuable to your healing. Communication can also help address unhealthy relationships, whether that means improving the relationship, setting boundaries to manage the relationship, or deciding to discontinue the relationship altogether. Assertive communication can even help with casual day-to-day -day interactions, reversing potentially negative interactions into helpful ones. Think about ways that you can incorporate the elements of assertive communication. Honesty, clarity, respect, openness, and being firm into your interactions with others.